Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, my name is Ubu Gatul Uche. Super excited to be here again. Guys, today I have with me Anthony. Okay, Anthony and I will be reacting to another recommended videos by one of my subscribers. It says Switzerland won't have Muslim women. Wow. Like, how? How is that possible? I want to know more about it. So without wasting much of your time, let's get right into this. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. I hope you are well. We want to raise our voice on the causes that matter to us, especially in times when we don't have a mainstream voice, even from the Muslim world, in the tone and light we expect. The same with us, we have to really pick up issues which can be pushed because the social media platforms are also censored, not from hatred and malice, but from truth, oppression and aggression selectively based on their agenda. Now, Switzerland plans to find $1,000 to women wearing niqab under burqa ban law. To be honest, that's moronic. Face coverings in public places are banned after a March 2021 referendum, but face masks against COVID are allowed. See this campaign poster. I never really saw women wearing niqabs that are angry though. Who drew this? Maybe an angry bird, I'm pretty sure might be as Islamophobic or then the government is. Art speaks a lot. I learned my lesson here. The proposed ban, also known as the Burqa ban, was supported by 51.2% of voters, but was criticized at the time as Islamophobic and sexist. The ban on covering faces aims to ensure public safety and order. Punishment is not a priority, it said in a statement. How on earth is this for safety? In case of requirements, women do identify themselves, even when they are wearing a niqab. We have heard this so many times and explained it as well. It looks like they are not ready to even listen, forget understanding it. The bill does not name burqas or niqabs, but prohibits people from concealing their faces in public, spaces like public transportation, restaurants or walking in the street specifying that the eyes, nose and mouth must be visible. This clearly shows Muslim women are not welcome. We have to question a few things. How many sisters do niqab? I'm talking about Switzerland. Why is the government making a huge fuss and issue out of it? On top of that, there's a law being drafted. Come on, use your energy for better things. I'm pretty sure Switzerland has some major problems that government needs to focus on instead of policing Muslim women clothing. Muslims make up 5% of the Swiss population of 8.6 million people. According to estimates by the University of Lucerne, only about 30 women wear the niqab in the country. Amnesty International has called the face wheel ban a dangerous policy that violates women's rights, including freedom of expression and religion. We all would agree. Have you noticed who's silent now? Those people who are protesting for Iranian women rights. Those celebrities who are talking about women's choices. The question is, are they pro-choice or is there any bias against hijab or niqab? Undoubtedly, we don't need any theory to back this. Doing a hijab is not easy. Niqab, it's not easy, subhanallah. But we admire the sisters' strength who do niqabs. We respect your choice. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you and make it easy for you. Ameen. That's a lot of struggle involved with respect to fighting our desires, societal norms which are un-Islamic. We have a message for these governments. Walk the talk and annihilate double standards. The constitutions today talk a lot about the freedoms of women. So walk the talk. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make our sisters steadfast and grant them goodness. Ameen. That's it for today brothers and sisters. I hope you liked the video. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell. Share this video with your family and friends. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum. So what do you have to say about this? Uh, of course, yes, it's, it's discriminatory against women's rights. Uh, like worship and all this stuff because uh, you know when you go to Rome you see these Roman sisters with their um, the nuns, veil and everything and yeah, yeah. so I think it's freedom of worship in a, we are in the democratic world so everybody should be able to do whatever that pleases him or her uh, when it comes to worship 
Yeah, so I think um, that law was very harsh. Yes, uh, discriminating women like for wearing, uh, like criminalizing women for wearing uh, a hijab or niqab is is very bad. It's barbaric. That's what I can say about it. Yeah, it's very bad. Okay. Yeah. So this issue is also even in Nigeria, it's been an issue, right? Most times when I make reference, I like to make reference where I'm well familiar with, mm -hmm. or where I know how things work very well. Um, so a bill was passed, I think, sometime this year, whereby allows um, students, Islamic students, to wear hijab yeah, to school, to class, and the rest of that. Yeah. It caused a lot of commotion because already with the Boko Haram issue, you know, yeah. covering of faces and extremists. So everybody, most people were afraid for attack. So you don't know who is coming in. If you don't see their faces, yeah. how will you be able to identify who this person is? You're coming into work. We don't really know your face. Yeah. So when someone dressed the way you dress and come, do we know it's you or oh, it's, it's not else. you? Yeah. yeah. So a lot of that. And so because of that, um, a priest, or Reverend Father wore his Catholic traditional tra his yeah the, the priestly the priest. gowns and stuff oh, wow. and came to the court. <laughs> like this is what he since the um he said they should, they, should come yeah, where, where where they yeah. want to as a freedom of um religion. Yes, so since they believe what they're trying to say that each institution has um things that are guiding it mm -hmm. for school and uniform it should be this mm -hmm. right so why bringing in your trad your what you believe into it if you go home you can continue what you're practicing yeah. so then we're still on it and someone else who said he practiced traditionalism like he he believed in african traditional religion yeah. so he wore his voodoo <laughs> and he's painted his eye you know <laughs> like a traditional herbalist and came to court wow that since the court has agreed now that everybody can, can wear, wear what they want instead of wearing the traditional the judge said no that the case my, yeah my today's <laughs> today's um um, um ruling case. yeah case has been postponed yeah. so they're not going to touch you so this has been an issue mm -hmm. not just in Netherlands, in almost every part where they are by um religion there are two religions you know mm -hmm. or there are multiple religions it will be difficult because a lot of people are showing concern for their security and with the way the world is going terrorism on the rise and the rest of that I w if i'm working with you i want to be able to identify you i'm giving you a, giving you a document Imagine there are four or five people in a meeting mm -hmm. and we're not able to identify who is who you know because of the coverage i understand that but also putting a ban on it it's it's how do i put it it's really harsh, bad. yeah. It's so harsh. it's like kicking against someone's religion, and definitely, even if the government are doing it with uh, best interest for the all, all the citizens, there are other people who will feel cheated out, who will feel there there's been um, more like, like a bias, bias towards yeah. them. You know, or they feel that they are like the um, opposition, or you know, they are not the majority; they are the minority in that place. Yeah. You know, so yeah, I think there should be a way to. Um, work on it probably you're going to so I'm so pleased like or each institution should have their um, rules you know yeah. so it to be by organization by organization or rules but not just like a general place mm -hmm. that's what I feel it should it should be it should be like yeah. no, normally normally I think uh, the coming of the face only comes in when I think the lady is going to marry or something so I think um, the Islamic religion too, like, should know, like, maybe using, uh, unlike Africa here, they only do the the, the, the hijab yeah. and not the covering of the face. Yeah, some some god, I think those who got married to the sheikhs, like in my Nigeria, the sheikhs, you know, yeah, the people who the imams and I think mm -hmm. they won't they cover, cover full. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I've seen, I have a friend, the mom, till tomorrow, if I see her on the road. I'll no, pass. Yeah, I won't. Yeah. She would see me and like, hey, Uchi, how are you? And the rest of But if I see her, like, I will never be able to identify her. Like, if she removes it, I won't be able to identify her. I've okay. known her for more than twenty something years, okay. but I can't be able to identify who she is. If I see her on the road, I'm like, oh, you get what I'm trying to yeah. say? Well, she will be able to identify me. So I think that's another thing too. You know, you're living with somebody. Yeah. You don't. You don't know who you stay with. You don't know. Like you just pass each other. So yeah. if someone dressed like that or the person is in trouble, you don't even know. Yeah. A lot of advantage and disadvantage in the present um, world, you know. 
So yeah, I get I get the, um, the government. I also I get the people. So yeah. there should be a way they should come to a compromise and yeah. see how sure. they, they were able to live. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you for being with us on this one. Do not forget to like and share and subscribe. And if you're new here, please do subscribe before you leave. We are a family. We are growing. You have any videos you to react to? Drop that in the comment section. Recommend videos. We we'll definitely do justice to that. And also, if you also have any suggestions to make this channel better, please drop that in the comment section. So come away next time. Say.